Are you ready to watch this caterpillar turn into a butterfly? Me too. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. And today, I'm gonna show you how to make my super easy, quick, cheap DIY butterfly costume. Honestly, we all remember the adorable photo Kylie posted with Stormy a few years back. This was just such an amazing costume and I thought I would go ahead and uh, show you guys how to recreate it because honestly, I've never seen anyone really do that good of a job. So hot tea, I'm gonna see if I can. Y'all know I can because a bitch be the queen of transformations and a queen of making unprofessionally made costumes. So instead of just rambling, without further ado, my DIY butterfly costume. Bippity boppity, boo. <laughs> so festive for Halloween. <laughs> Love that. Okay, so like any good butterfly, we are going to start out as a caterpillar. My nice bare face here, so. Step one of the costume is to do absolutely nothing. And the next part is to buy the stuff. So here's what I got. Butterfly, butterfly, butterfly fly away. <laughs> oh, my music career intensifies. Okay. So um, again, outfit's getting weirder by the day, but this is actually cute. We got a nice little silky blue robe on. It even got my initials on it because I'm fancy. So, here's what we need for this costume. Oh my, oh my, what a beautiful ingredients pile. So, um, this is what we need for this project. First things first, um, again, as always, I do the sexy version. So I'm going to need a little black lingerie. You know, you could use a black bodysuit um, or literally a dress or pants or all sorts of other things. I'll show you a couple of options. So you need a base. Then of course we have some black fingerless gloves because I just thought these looked the most like, I don't know, butterfly-y. So we have those some black tights, love that. We have some dark angel wings, um, ones that go up. I will show you why in a minute, but we have those. I just got these on Amazon, it's linked below. And then of course we need the butterfly wings. I wanted to match the emoji, so I got blue ones. Oh, look how gorgeous. You can see this is just fabric. Um, I'll lay them out for a sec. <gasps> All laid out, these actually look like this, which for reference, I don't even know if you guys can see how big those are, but they're like literally huge. Yeah. Here's my head in them. These are ginormous. So, like, you know, the idea is kind of that you'd be like this and then you could be like, whoosh. Oh, look how cool that is. Yeah, these are just absolutely gorgeous. These were like 20 bucks, I think, on Amazon. So these are the ones that I decided to use. Um, obviously, you could use any color, but I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna do with these in a minute. So, for now, here we go. Let's get started. Oh, this is so fun. Wow. <laughs> Maybe I'll just be done and wear this. <laughs> Are you excited to be? Oh, hi. Okay. Are you excited for me to be a butterfly? Yep. Thought so. So those are all the materials that we're gonna use. And now, since this is such a simple costume, I'm gonna try and go like balls to the walls with the makeup and the accessories. So we're gonna try and do this. Let's see what we can do. Hi, sugar bear. Alrighty. You guys know I can't really do this, but then, you know what? I thought this would be hilarious to try. This is just so unbelievable. Like, oh my God, this girl. Wow. So we're gonna, well, not this, but uh, honestly, if there's one thing I do know how to do, it's winged liner. We're gonna go to the store really quick and buy some makeup and uh, see what we can do. All right, here we go. I gotta get some stuff from Ulta. So I need some kind of blue eyeshadow, maybe some blue glitter. None of this is it. Maybe something like this? Oh, possibly. Da -na 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 -na. Too many choices, oh God. Oh, white liquid liner, all right. Oh my goodness, look at all the choices of nails. Oh, there's too many. These both look like they could work. Let's get ready. Hi guys, welcome back to my beauty channel. Today I'm gonna show you a really excellent tutorial of butterfly makeup. So before we actually do my makeup, I think we're gonna try and do the eyes first. So let's let's just go for it. I got this cool Halloween themed palette sort of. Do you see the skull on it? Fun, fun. So we got this gorgeous blue in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some eyeliner. This is some liquid liner that I like to use. So I do my normal winged liner and the inner wing corner because that is just my signature look anyway. So we're just gonna kind of dress that up a bit. I just literally didn't know how to do this. So I just started drawing roguely. Yes, I freehanded this. I do not know how I did this. I genuinely wish I could tell you. I don't know. I just kind of drew random lines and squiggles until 
I thought it kind of looked good. Like I said, I'm not good at makeup, but I'm very good at eyeliner. So this actually wasn't that hard for me. But uh, yeah, after years of practice, I kind of know what I'm doing. So then I went ahead and took the blue eyeshadow and just kind of put that underneath here to kind of, you know, make it be under my eye and make the color pop. Then I filled in kind of the little lines that I made to look like the wings and put it on top and under and just kind of in the crease and the corners to kind of just bluen it up a little bit without making my whole eye blue because I actually don't really love the look of eyeshadow. So that's what I did there. Okay, I think that's good enough for now. So now we're gonna do the rest of my face and we'll touch this up at the end. So then I went ahead and did all my normal makeup um, in my usual chaotic way. Gave myself my little nose job, you know. Mm -hmm. Contouring is the shit. Love that, little bunny nose, perfect. Highlighter because that's the best ever. So gotta get our face all nice and shiny and poppin'. And honestly, put that a little bit on the corners of the eye and that's starting to look good too put on some lashes and then I grabbed the white liner and started to kind of just put some random white dots on it. Um, again, not sure what I'm doing here, but I actually can't believe this. Um, I did it. This looks awesome. <laughs> this is so cool. I cannot believe I actually did this. I'm genuinely flabbergasted and amazed. Amber MUA coming your way. I graduated college, I won the price is right. I can still ice skate like that, but I don't care. This is the most impressive thing I've ever done in my entire life. This is the best makeup I've ever done in my life and will probably ever do again. I'm shook. I'm gonna wear this every day, I love it. Okay, Metaposa. I need to do a photo just of this, my God. Literally just, I can't believe this. I, this is the proudest day of my life. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hi, boogeyman, hello. Um, so we're gonna put these on, you like those? Okay, well, we're gonna mix them together, actually. You know, that looks a little wonky because I just glued them right onto my current nails. So, you know, just look at them from far away. <laughs> Probably would have looked better if I actually did them, but cool nail set if, you know, you do it properly. Okay, so now we're gonna do our hair. Okay, so for hair, I think we're gonna do like that little updo um, that I like to do, the Ariana Grande looking thing, because I think that's very butterfly. And it's one of the only hairstyles I know how to do. I actually have a full video tutorial on this exact hairstyle if you guys want to check that out. But here is the loose abridged version. So basically you take some hair gel. Oh God. <laughs> brush that into your hair and then put a really high pony on the very tippity top of your head. So you can see this is super high on my head. Hey guys, I'm Ariana Grande. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, get that all the way on the top of your head. And you wanna make this part actually stand up. So we're gonna put even more hair ties. Woo! So now it's really standing up. By the way, trade secret, you can't do this hairstyle without extensions, you literally need them. So this is some extensions that I'm using for this. They're really ratted because they're super old. Just kind of wrap that around, you know, take some hair and wrap it around extra to create that little like hidden band scenario. Mm-hmm. Take your favorite curling iron and flip curl it upwards so it kind of flips out. So then you just go ahead and do the whole head and when you brush it out, it'll look like this. Very retro vintage pinup style, throw a headband on because the flyaways still exist and voila, our hair. All right, now our hair and makeup is all done. A couple of my nails fell off, so I'm gonna have to glue those back on. But there you have that, that was our finished little look there. And uh, now let's get dressed. P.S. Uh, before we get dressed, we have to actually make the wings. So this is how I did that this morning. You know, they're super tall wings, which is very cool. So um, you can use any kind of wings you want. You just want to make sure they stand up tall. These are the ones I made in my angel um, DIY video last year. So if you guys want to check that out, basically I just glued extra feathers to different wings. So we're actually going to use these just because I need wings that are super huge. So here's what we're going to do. I am going to lay the wings on top of the other wings, kind of like this you know, with the straps peeking out just so you can be able to put them on. So you can see when you flip those over, then you can kind of drape that over it a little bit on the side. And then you're gonna take these little black push pins, also Amazon, and you can just literally kind of pin, um, pin the fabric into the wings so it stays secure. So do that all up and down the sides until it's all attached there. So then you'll see you'll have both sides pinned down. Um, by the way, if you don't wanna use pins, a hot glue gun would totally work too. I just wanna reuse these wings in the future. So I'm doing the temporary version. If you are making permanent ones, 
buy two pairs of the same wings and use a hot glue gun and glue them onto the front and the back so that way no feathers stick out you're gonna see there's feathers sticking out in mine when i show the reveal but that's just because like i said i you know needed this as a temporary thing but that is how you would make this extra more you know professional so then when you flip them back around they're gonna look like this looks kind of silly but when we put them on it's gonna be fabulous so we're gonna put the rest of the outfit on and i'll show you so like i said then it's time to get dressed so we went ahead and slipped on the tights over the bra the underwear got our gloves mm -hmm. I threw these on for shoes just because these are some of my favorite shoes in the world and I thought they were kind of like butterfly-esque, but it was honestly a toss up between these or these because I do have the butterfly Sophia Webster's, but the colors just looked weird. So I'll save those for another day, but uh, oh my God, I spent so long doing my makeup. It's legitimately night, but roll, please. Da -na 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 -na. Um, this is amazing. Like you can see, this just came out so cool. Very, uh, you know, spicy butterfly, sure to be the center of attention kind of look. Hi, I'm the butterfly emoji. Da -na 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 -na. Ta -da! You can see the full version too. Oh my gosh, this is fire. George, do you love it? You love this one. Hi, honey. <laughs> the eyeshadow matching the wings literally looks unbelievable. I'm living. Literally never gonna take this off, so I'm gonna try and leave it on for like 400 days just to show everyone how cool it is. Victoria's Secret Supermodel, but make it butterfly. Why did I throw butter out the window? To see the butterfly! <laughs> oh yes, we love it. Madame Butterfly. The shoes and everything, this is it. La 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 la! Conservative fashion! Conservative me. I actually filmed this entire thing and then decided it would actually probably look better with this little corset on underneath it. So um, anyways, if you want to buy that, I also linked that below, but if something bothers me, I just fly away from all my problems. Butterfly, fly away. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now that's what I call a look. As I would say, absolutely nailed it. So there you have it, you guys. That was my DIY butterfly costume. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you recreate any of the looks, please tag me. I love to see them. Wishing you a very magical, lucky day. Butterflies are just really good omens, so sending you lots of luck and love and light this Halloween season. See you guys next time. All my love in the world and then some. Butterfly kisses. XO.